In today's video, we'll be making copper powder with a single displacement reaction. This is a very easy to set up project and yields some really cool results once we're done with it. All we need is copper 2 sulfate, boiling water, sodium chloride, and aluminum foil. This reaction is slightly exothermic, so it is always best that this is done in a well ventilated area or outside. We will first measure out 100 milliliters of distilled water, followed by adding enough copper 2 sulfate to completely saturate the solution. We will then need to mix the copper 2 sulfate until completely dissolved. This can be done at room temperature, though heating up the solution will speed up the rate at which it dissolves. I place the solution in my heating mantle, drop a stir bar in, and let all the copper 2 sulfate crystals dissolve. From here, I remove my stir bar and prepare the aluminum foil by ripping into smaller pieces. The more surface area the solution has to work with, the faster the displacement will take place. The equation for what we're doing here is pretty simple. When we add our aluminum to the copper 2 sulfate, the CuSO4, it will have a single displacement and the aluminum will displace the copper from the solution giving us aluminum sulfate and copper at the end. We know aluminum to be more reactive than copper by the reactive series of metals. More reactive metals will always displace the less reactive metal. Though most store-bought aluminum has a layer of oxidization, so we add the NaCl to help start the reaction and remove the oxidation layer. The chloride ions act as a catalyst, allowing the reaction to take place at a faster rate, the Na plus and the Cl minus. Once this layer is gone, our aluminum and copper sulfate will be allowed to react. This forms a complex salt of copper to chloride, which is why the solution changes color. Once we add the salt, we can see the reaction starting to take place and the aluminum looks like it's almost rusting. What's going on here is most of the aluminum is dissolving into the copper sulfate and the copper is being released. However, almost as soon as the reaction started, my camera turned off. Which really made me upset though, because it was such a cool reaction in my opinion, I needed to do it again. Though, this time, slightly different. I'm going to show a side-by-side -side comparison of how the salt speeds up this reaction. So, we prepare our solution and then separate it out into two. The one on the left will be our solution without the NaCl, and the one on the right will be our solution with the salt. We can see as soon as we add it, and mix it slightly, the reaction starts and finishes within about 60 seconds. It also brings the solution up to about 135 degrees, so that is something to take note of. Next, we'll add our NaCl to the beaker that didn't have any, and see a close-up, real-time reaction of what is going on. Once we add the salt, we immediately see bubbles starting to form within the liquid. And after a small stir, we can see the copper being displaced by the aluminum. After the reaction has been completed, we can see that the solution has turned to dark blue. The copper can now be seen floating throughout the solution, though it is mainly sunk to the bottom. The next step to reclaiming our copper is to filter the solution through a gravity filter or a vacuum filter to remove the solid copper. We can see that the copper is very wet and we must allow it to dry. To do this, I place the copper in a recrystallization dish and let it air dry for about 24 hours with occasional stirring. After about 24 hours, we come back and see that the copper powder has completely dried and is easy to move around and does not stick. The plan is to melt this down eventually and maybe make it into a small pendant or something, though for now I am unable to reach copper's melting point of about 1900 degrees. In the end, we ended up with 5.2 grams of copper dust, which is a pretty good yield, and a very cool demonstration. In the future, I plan to put out more videos on chemistry demonstrations and distillation. We can see all the videos I'm currently working on here. And, until next time, have a great rest of your day.